that was the old me. Now that we know what we're doing, it's gonna look crisp, you know? Yeah, no, that's I mean, how I gotta, feel. We got a bit of combat practice. What is up, everybody? To Neric, would you like to say the honors? What? The name of the show. <laughs> it is with a game of salt. I am Eric, and to my left is Eddie. Yes, this is a uh, Eric came up with the name, so that's why I have a head having him say it. But uh, this is happening. Yeah, this is happening. We talked about it on the podcast that I'd show him this game because he said he'd never seen it before. However, it's been a while since I played it. I did do a little bit of practicing though. And by a little bit, I mean four hours. I'm clearing that save though. <laughs> <laughs> Probably because best. I'm gonna be honest with you, this isn't the first time I've tried this. And I completely forgot what I was doing the last time. And it was I was like, nope, I'm not putting this on YouTube. It's just gonna piss everybody off. But now, thanks to the practice, I can no. know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm not doing steel so. Steel Soul? So. Steel Soul food. So Steel Soul pretty much is permadeath. Pretty much. One hit KO. In the wilds belong the s they speak your name with reverence and regret. For none could tame our savage souls that you the challenge met. Under palest watch you taught we changed. Base instincts were redeemed. A world you gave to bug and beast as they had never dreamed. From Elegy of a Hell Honest by Monomon, the teacher. I love that poem. Monomon the teacher. I love that summer. poem. So, this this game is so pretty. I'm asking you what you think is going on. Okay. Nico, this game has. Okay. That was a bad idea. Nailed it. <laughs> Nailed it. Eric saw me play a little bit of this game while I was practicing. Uh, what did you think of it? That gave me full confidence that I will not do well in this game. <laughs> and now you're actually going to see like real footage. Like, because you were just seeing me like. After four hours, you're like, and now here's something you'll really enjoy. Because <laughs> all you pretty much did was watch me die left and right and farm money. Exactly. <laughs> this kind of reminds me of that. Oops. Comic bone, bone. I thought you were gonna say the show Bones. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> no. You want to watch Burn Notice? Dude, don't even play. <laughs> don't even say Burn Notice when Alan gets here. <laughs> Alan's gonna be joining us pretty soon. I don't know if he'll be here for the whole playthrough. I doubt it. This game's a little bit long, mm -hmm. and uh, we're gonna, it's gonna take us a couple of sessions to be able to beat this game, most likely. But uh, yeah. Basically, I'm going to be showing Eric this game because it's one of my favorite games of all time. So, it is the apocalypse and you're a fleet. Right? I'm, I'm, well, I'm just a bug. But, I'm yeah. just a bug. Yeah, every, every, a everybody's bug. a bug. Everybody's a bug. It's a bug's life. Yeah. Essentially. Instead of Hollow Knight, it should have just been a bug's life, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, am I butchering your pretty, beautiful game, Eddie? I mean, don't you think it's pretty? <laughs> it is. Visually, yes. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Oh, focus your soul. So this is how you heal in this game. Of course, if I had taken any damage, I would have healed that damage. I appreciate the, the fact that the credits are still rolling while you're playing the game. So, you know, you have to watch all the credits first. Yeah. Can't skip it. Like Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> it's like what? It's just like oh, Nintendo made this game. That's, about it. <laughs> That's all we're gonna tell you. They did? Yeah. I didn't know that. Wow. Oh, not this game. Oh. I was talking about Super Mario Brothers. Ow. It's a bit dark. Ow. No one talks. Yeah. <sighs> okay, now. Uh, now that we're recording, I'm gonna look like the biggest dumbass to ever play this game. I don't know. I haven't played it yet. So. I think you're good. Yeah, but I'm playing this on the internet. I'm just gonna look like a total moron. Everyone's gonna be like, why do you do this? Or why do you go this way instead? And why do you just waste the lifeblood? Everyone's a critic. Yeah. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh, no! They hate us because they ain't us. Oh no, that's nasty. <laughs> what do you mean? 
see if I can do this. Yay! Wow. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Within our lands, do not hide your true form. Let all bask in your majesty. For only this kingdom can produce one such as you. All right, great. Cap. No. <laughs> <laughs> and here we have our first charm. Equip a charm to activate its powerful abilities. To equip a charm and open the charms menu while resting in a bench. We haven't even been introduced to benches yet, and I already got this. Nice. I'm doing things I really shouldn't be doing yet, I think. Actually, no, I'm good. Yay! So what does this do? Charms. Oh, there we go. It had to be in the way back. Embodies the fury and heroism that comes upon those who do who are about to die. When close to death, the bearer's strength will increase. I do more damage when I'm close to dying. Oh, sweet. Did you have that last time? When I was practicing? Yeah. No. Huh. Would it have helped me? No, because I was playing like total trash. <laughs> but now, I have the confidence. I have uh, the experience. Of <laughs> I guess. I was going to say the charisma. People <laughs> call it muscle memory. But okay, we'll go with that. Oh, shit. I skipped all that. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. I'm just going to read it like super close to the mic whenever this comes up. Okay. Beyond this point, you enter the land of king and creator. Step across this threshold and obey all laws. I can't keep an accent to save my life. Bear witness to the last and only civilization. Is that how you spell civilization? The Eternal Kingdom. Hollow Nest. Hollow Nest. I don't know why. <laughs> no, for a second there I thought we were looking for the Allspark. Optimus Prime. There was a matrix of leadership. Matrix. <laughs> Depenimus. Should, should I do like a... Here's <laughs> my impression of the Fallen. I'm falling. Bright. 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 Hey, Eddie, you got Amazon. Bright. <laughs> Anyways, this oh, is no, no, Elder Bug. No, 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 no. Oh, I forgot you're still here, Elder Bug. <laughs> <laughs> you're still living. All right. I'm just going to be honest. It wasn't a practice session. Uh, I was just so bad at the game that we decided to start over. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good idea, though. Yeah, because, you know, I'm dumb. I heard this quote today that fits perfectly in this video. Mm -hmm. You can't make a chicken salad with chicken shit. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think that's beautiful? Yeah. Why didn't I start the game with that poem? <laughs> <laughs> we could when Alan gets here. Yeah, just, just throw him off. Hollow Knight <laughs> just... <laughs> you enter the game just... You can't <laughs> make chicken salad. <laughs> <laughs> this don't is Conifer. Me. This guy's the map guy. Oh, ah, look at that. I acquired a map. That's for useful. His wifey Zelda is gonna sell me shit later. Mm -hmm. Beetle? <laughs> Just call him Beetle. And if you I'm not a speedrunner or anything. I'm not a professional at this game. Never will I claim to be unless I decide to pick up the speedrunning for it. Which, yeah. I love this game, but I don't know if I love it that much. So if you don't like my route that I take, I'm sorry. But I'm not sorry. <laughs> I want to enjoy this game. Because it has been a while since I last played this. So some of it isn't exactly all in my head. Just yet. Wait, wait, wait. When was the last time you played this? It's about... It's been about half a year. Oh no, shit. A lot happened from that span of a year and a half. You know how many games we played? When Two? When shutdown happened? I don't even know. For how many hours? Well, I mean, the mo the game I played the most of would be Persona 5. <laughs> oh, man. Between Persona 5 and Persona 5 Royal, I put in like... 800 hours. A thousand hours might not be too out of the question. This is the Temple of the Black Egg. So basically, this guy's gonna tell you... Con uh, not Squirrel. There we go. I forgot. I call him Squirrel. <laughs> you gained nothing from trimming the wall. Yeah, this isn't Zelda. What do you think is gonna happen? Why do you keep doing it? To do things. You don't trim the lawn? This episode was brought to you by Manscaped. <laughs> 
No, it's not. No, it's not. I'm sorry. It would be cool if we had any sponsors. But. Oh. It's a big man! Ow! Ow! Wow. Rage, rage. Use it. Use the rage. Oh, I forgot I had that. I was like, what's happening? <laughs> Ow, I'm being stupid. This is exactly what I wanted to avoid. Oh well, at least I killed him. I haven't died to him. So I can at least say that. There's a grub! Fly away, fucker. Be free. So yeah, we have to save those guys. Teach a dinosaur. You have like a George Bush sticker. No child left behind. <laughs> no bug left. Don't thank me. Thank America. <laughs> I don't know. The <laughs> group's like, I'm, I'm leaving now. I don't remember. <laughs> wasn't that like, the, wasn't that whole thing like really like a big scam or something really stupid? Um, like a lot of children were left behind. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was in good faith. You know? Oh, they come really on. It's like Reagan's war on drugs. How do we. Get the game, Eddie. <laughs> We're sticking to the game. Alright, this game is, a, is an allegory for Red and War on Drugs. I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> and how stupid that whole thing was. The final boss is the Dare program. <laughs> oh no! So, spoilers, we win. 